Hello, my name is William James. I am the Bald Book Geek. Welcome back. Um, forgive what's going on. I'm still in the process of decorating. So news, comic book news. Uh, is that a thing? I saw the uh, preview and the information on I am not Starfire. I'll give you the synopsis. I'll give you what I know and then we'll move forward. The daughter, the overweight lesbian daughter of Starfire, DC icon, brilliant hero and all right, stunner, Starfire her daughter is in high school. She hates being the daughter of a celebrity, negotiating life, doing all of that stuff. So actually, I think that's a really interesting concept. What would the child of a superhero go through? I mean, yeah, Batman's got Damien, but you know what I mean. It's what would a child of a superhero go through? But here goes the problem. The character that they've designed, which I'm going to put there, is basically it looks like the writer it's very obviously wish fulfillment fan fiction lines that they're going down and that worries me also starfire is the genetic lottery starfire's ch daughter wouldn't look like that unless she had sex with the penguin i'm sorry i know that's unpopular but actually her as the daughter of oswald cobblepot like that would be cool dealing with being the daughter of a villain and trying to make her own way in life, that would be more interesting. The problem is DC and actually a lot of the comic houses aren't doing very well. And I'm a DC fan more than a Marvel. I'm not a big Marvel person at all. DC <sighs> tends to get me in the right places. The problem is young people aren't reading these. Old people aren't reading these either. I'm old. Um, <laughs> YA comics are dead. And YA in general, in terms of book sales and stuff like that, is falling and the comics was a brief fad about three or four years ago the number sales on these are absolutely abysmal like these ya graphic novels aren't even selling at in discount I, the amount of these that turn up on discount sites and things they're not selling and i don't know why they keep making them this has been in the work for apparently well over a year which is even more depressing ya in, as a whole has been ripped out of the hands of children and teenagers by adults you know people go well it's not for people say whenever i talk give a talk about why books good or bad i get the thing well it's not for you but it's not for you either you're a 26 year old woman who has a day job or in university or whatever and it's not for you either it's meant to be for young people and the problem is a lot of ya deals with themes that aren't necessarily appropriate for young people i also think that these ya comic novels tend to fall into the same story they, uh, this is the what I've picked up. I've read loads of them. I've gone through them. I've, I've, I'm a comic book geek. I buy them out of curiosity or I read them on the library. Or the comics app is what I use to read most graphic novels. Because I just... The problem is young people don't read these. Young people getting into comic books don't want identity politics. They don't want day-to-day -day life thrown at them. They want escapism. I wanted escapism as a young guy. And all my friends did. We... You know, I wanted to be Batman. I wanted, I wanted to be Catwoman. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't i mean fabulous heels but you know i i wanted to be clark kent i wanted to be batman i wanted to be these characters that weren't nor you know that weren't day-to-day -day run of the mill I, I we read to escape and i think jamming these comic books with adult themes and things that maybe 13 year olds don't understand 13 14 15 year olds don't have a full comprehension of i.e identity politics stuff like that and then doing it really clumsily with a self-insert fan fiction character is not the way to go the sales numbers on these are telling and sadly i think i think the comics industry is in a lot of trouble as much as i love dc and i i shit on marvel the comics industry is in trouble mismanagement finance, bad financial decisions but also um bad at these breed of writers they are hiring the attacking fans that don't like the source material crap like i am starfire <sighs> ramming all of this stuff down people's throats when really we just want to read something kick-ass and strong that has a great storyline i mean the killing joke for example it's a great one mad love harley quinn i think we are i think we alienating fans and I've said this in another video, alienating the fans to start with isn't going to make them go, oh, let's buy this for my kids. It, it's not. And I think this weird marketing strategy they've developed is just bad. And sadly, I think it's representative of the industry as a whole right now. Why are comics are pretty much dead in the water? And I'm, I'm kind of shocked that they're even bothering with this, considering they're cancelling great series because they're not selling. But they're selling these, which actually sell less. I'm not kidding. Uh, DC, Marvel, all of them have cancelled series that are actually doing okay and getting people reading again, but they're 
cancelling them and then they're putting this out. These sell less than their lowest selling graphic novels. You can find these numbers online, they're very public, the sales charts are easy to find. DC, what are you doing? <laughs> like DC needs to stop this because they are alienating people and they are alienating their existing fan base. But new, they're not, new readers aren't picking these up because they're not interested in it. New readers watch the films or watch a cartoon and they want, well, I want to read Batman. I want to read Superman. I want to read The Flash. I want to read, they don't want to read about an overweight lesbian daughter of Sapphire. This book's going to tank and then what they're going to do is, like everyone, the writer's going to go on Twitter and blame cis het men or cis white guys or, oh, blame everyone else but the issue is, but the actual issue, which is self-insertion fiction, horrible writing, ramming identity politics down kids' throats and realising that the YA market for graphic novels and actually books, the graphic novels is dead and the YA market for books is, it just seems counterproductive. And it's sad that it's come to this when... Also, side note, I hate this art style. It's like Tumblr art from hell. That kind of Steve's universe. Yuck. Ugly. Ugly art. Bad business decisions. Bad marketing. And not quite knowing the aud alienating existing audience. Which are the, the existing audience is the audience that will get their kids. And their friends will get into The kids' friends will get into it. And that's how I got into comic books. Yes, that's Coco behind me, by the way. She's been running around all day. It's just one of those situations where maybe they need to take stock and realise that maybe funding this stuff and trying to get this sort of SJW audience into their comic books and appease Twitter readers, which don't represent real readers at all, isn't a good idea.